Well, uh, I had a big epiphany this last year. Um, another uh, cybersecurity canon Hall of Fame book admitted last year was something called Super Forecasting by Dr. Tedlock. I don't know if you've read it, but yeah, he Tedlock is this uh, scientist, government scientist, or he used to be. Um, and, you know, he's this old curmudgeon who, uh, you know, would watch the local news programs and shake his fist at the screen because, you know, they brought a pundit on who got something right once in his career, but had been wrong ever since, right? And he says, why would you listen to this guy? And I have always thought that there should be like a Chiron running at the bottom of the screen and says, this guy's one for 33, maybe not pay attention to what he's talking about, right? So mm -hmm. anyway, Tedlock is working for, for IARPA, the Intelligence Advanced Research Pro Projects Agency, kind of like DARPA, but for the intelligence right. community. And he does this experiment uh, with three uh, test groups, right? One is the, uh, the intelligence community, the second is the academic community, and the third is a group that I called geezers on the go. These are just kind of folks who have uh, time to solve puzzles. And he gave them re 500 really hard forecasting problems, like will the president of Syria be assassinated in the next year, right? And then he graded them over time, and the group that wins this contest is the geezers on the go by 60%. They beat the wow. intelligence community who had access to classified information. But the interesting thing was that there's a subgroup inside the geezers who beat the entire group by another 60%, and those are other super forecasters in the title. And these guys yeah. weren't very special. They're smart for sure, but they weren't doing high order math. They were just curious and, uh, and applied some very specific principles. And one of them, was Fermi uh, estimates. Uh, 